Okay guys, welcome back. Today we are working on the Sierra. We need to get the head gaskets on this and the heads on this. Um, I popped the hood the other day just to take a peek and notice something. So what's happening is, if you look at the hood, we do have a cow hood and there's holes on the inside to let the heat out. While water, when we get rain, is coming in and coming out here. And if you look, it's right on the pasture side of the block. So uh, we did have water sitting in the cylinder. Not good. It was raining for a couple days, and like Jeff said, that's not good. So we are going to clean it up. We put some WD-40 in it. It wasn't terrible. I think it was only a day, day and it, a half tops. Basically, anywhere that there's any heavy rust is where it hasn't been oiled from the rings pulling it up. So. The uh, head gasket's on. We're going to get the heads on. And I did bring out the water pump if we know what bolts are what. That way it just steals this back up, and it's one last thing of things... Uh, getting at it and plus it's really dirty in here so I'd like to get that stuff sealed up and uh, I think a lot of the couplers are here from Amazon now so technically it almost be ready to go back together I think I think this is going to be a July running should be running by July middle of July uh, and I don't know anyways we're gonna leave it at that we're going to uh, get the head gaskets on so what we did do we bought LS9 head gasket kit. So it's a complete top end for an LS9, which is a supercharged uh, Corvette 6.2 supercharged, which would be the same as this one. That looks like the Valley, isn't it? Uh, I was gonna say, I think this one is the Valley cover. Yeah. So, and then we did buy LS9 head studs as well, or head bolts. Yes. Are they bolts or studs? Bolts. So. That way we're running all LS9 stuff, which should handle a little better, more power than the factory stuff. So let's have some fun with these. They look so weird, don't they? Mm. Yes and no. Make sure we turn this over by hand yeah. as I'm doing this. Oh yes it was, it was in the bag with the bracket that they gave you. Okay, so after we found the dowel and uh, now the head gasket's in spot and now we can set the head in spot. Now you'll see that we do have some WD-40 sitting in there. We're going to turn this over by hand a couple times. Is that too much WD in there you think? No, we'll burn out. Let's see if we can get on the crank now. That's 21, that's still not big enough. Uh, so you want a 22, 24? Yeah. Because yeah. since we got the gasket, we might as well. Because you know this is going to see boost. Those gaskets don't look that good. What? What do you mean? How it's up like that. Just because it's not thick, like, pressed together. We're all going to need something to step up inside, so I'm going to be inside. You want to get up in here? Yeah, once I will not want to turn it over but for a. Uh... Yeah, hold on, I'll clean those pistons. Um, should probably grab a new rag, but. Fluff! Easy! She is a little, feel that. That has me nervous. So as you've seen, we pumped it up, or we turned it over a couple times, wiped the cylinders down to make sure, and it looks like all the rust that was okay. there, where the rings come in contact, came off pretty good. Yeah, it's all just... It's so, we got lucky that we caught that, so now we're just gonna climb in, I'm gonna pass him the head. Not give him head, we're gonna pass him the head. Get your mind out of the gutter, guys, and then uh, we'll go from there. Family friendly, Jeff. Family friendly. Yeah, I try. Well, you know the good thing about 
not being PG right now. We don't get paid either way. <laughs> Give me a head. Uh, Doesn't matter, they go either side. What the fucking gay? What? It does matter, doesn't it? No. Well, that's the intake, but it can go left side or right side. Headbolts. They're right here, I got some already. Yeah. yeah. And then you need a torque wrench, right? Got it. What good am I then? <laughs> I don't know. Ask yourself this. Hey, hey. <laughs> they got Loctite on them. Yeah. Garage is awfully clean. Yep. Oh, God, I That's why I like my little impact. Just put a freaking socket on it and. So, where's your little impact? Mine's at home. No, not my impact. Like my little driver set, like I got you. So, nice it'll, run, it'll run these down. Will it? Yeah, yeah. It'll run them down snug and then. So, this thing got a, little, a lot of torque, actually. There it goes. Fifteen bolts to do. So we'll be back after he does his fifteen bolts, and then we'll do the other side first, and then we'll torque them all at once. That way, you guys. No, can... no, I'm doing this side. Okay, once <laughs> once these fifteen bolts are snug, we will come back. So, uh, how about we do a camera trick? We are back. <laughs> Jeff is torquing these down. I think it's what, 25 foot pounds of torque going in sequence. And then uh, we're gonna tighten them up. We're gonna do the other head and then put the. Put the push rods in and uh, get all that fun stuff done. Just do it so we get the valve covers on just so it stops any water from going into the block. And then we are gonna jump on the SRT. Is it still 25 pounds for the 10 mils too? Yeah. I'd be surprised if those ever lift because it got a lot of bolts in it. Well, those ones, are the 10 mils are mostly just for the coolant passages and the oil gallery. And I got the, yeah, so some of the head bolts first pass. Do, 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 do. Some of the head bolts, M8 inner bolts, 22 pounds. Yeah, see those I only do to 22, 22 pounds, but I don't do the the 90 and the 70 on them. Once they're on, they're on. Center the note. Uh oh, someone's sending naked pictures. Oh, yeah. Nope. Cars. I prefer naked pictures. <laughs> as long as it's a girl, not a dude. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, Buddy had to point the beard. So, uh, I'm good. Just that is close. Mind you, we could have went and got a smaller extension in the real world. No, need that. Okay. Okay, you need the. This for torque wrench. Now I need power bar. Use wisely. Just give her. Just gonna send it. Yes.
Okay, so as you've seen, that side is done. We're gonna do the other side, then we're gonna put the, uh, why do I keep having a brain fart? We're gonna put the lifters in. No, push rods. Push we're rods. Gonna, gonna then, push rods, then the, rockers. then the rockers, and then the valve cover's on, then it's sealed, and then we're gonna leave it at that, guys. So uh, we'll be back when we do the, uh, the, the rockers and stuff like that. You don't need to watch this twice. So uh, he is cleaning it with WD-40, yeah. just to clean it up some. We're gonna drain the oil anyway. Yeah, we're gonna be draining the oil before we do it all anyway, so. It's just to help it uh, lube it up. And plus, WD-40 is good for... So, we will be back when we're ready with the other head, guys. So, let's do another camera trick. Come on. So, like that, we are back. We are putting our... Why did I forget it again? <laughs> push rods! <laughs> we are putting our push rods in. You see, we have it marked what was the front of the block, which each side is. That way, they don't get mixed up, and they're just going back into spot. And then we have our lifters over there uh, marked off as well. I'll put up here and then we'll just, uh, yes, my dog agrees, I guess. And then we will uh, set the valve covers in spot and that way it just keeps the water from getting in it. And then we are going to go work on the neon. So that is where we're at right now. Turbo's having fun. I do appreciate it being crunched over. I'm glad it's not me, but uh Actually, you know what? I kind of wish it was me because that means my arm wouldn't be hurting. True. So, um, so yeah, we're doing that. And then, uh, like I said, we're going to get this neon timing done so that tomorrow I can finish it up. Neon back on the road. And then we're going to call, book an appointment to get it dynoed again. Any estimates? This, this what do you I'm think? Saying, it's, I'm saying it's going to hit four. Four, four hundred on, on the tune it is now? Yeah, All the... Oh, yeah. Watch the vendor. I didn't know they were even in there. Yep. Marked it. In the clear or paint? In the clear. Okay. That can be. Uh, no. In the paint. Oh. Fuck. I didn't know they were even in there. Okay, we got the motor up at top dead center and he is following the proper procedure to tighten down the rockers, 28 pounds, and uh, there's a special procedure what rocker to do at what order. So we're going to do them. And then we are going to call it a day on the truck, which will probably end this video. So on that click, guys, we are going to leave it at that. Make sure you click on that notification bell right there up in the top right hand corner of the screen. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Leave a comment down below. All that helps us out, guys. Especially and subscribing. Especially the subscribing. Yeah, we got some cool projects on the go. Uh, we got the turbo truck that you just watched. We have the big turbo SRT, supercharged Camaro, um, probably going to be an LS swap, third gen Camaro. We got a LS9 blower kicking around in my, my spare room, so God knows what that's going to go on. We got the turbo Subaru and a whole bunch of other crap that you guys can watch us do and have some fun with along the way. And uh, yeah, so uh, until next time, guys, we will catch you guys later.